Hello, I'm Greg, and you're catching another Drifter Journey video. Jess is out here cleaning up uh, the old camp shower because we took a shower today. But if you have been following along, you know that we've been on an awesome journey so far this year, uh, going from Baja to Alaska. Uh, we are in Alaska with, uh, you know, it took some effort if you've been following. Um, but we came over Hatcher Pass today outside of Anchorage, found this awesome campsite on the river that I'm going to show you here in a second. Sorry if the sound's really bad because the river is right here. Uh, it's going to be 4th of July in a couple days, so we're going to go down to, where are we going, Seward? Yeah. We're going to go to Seward to watch some fireworks at midnight on the 3rd, <laughs> which I guess is midnight 01, the 4th. Right. And uh, who knows what else we're going to get into this week, so stay with us and we'll see what happens. Alright, as you can see, camp is uh, right over here on the hill. It was a little loose and... I can't tell if it looks steep in the camera, but it was steeper than expected. We got to cross this little mini uh, mini creek crossing to get over to it. And then uh, had to go up this little hill climb. And this is the camp we found. Today, got nothing new to talk about, got nothing new to say. No complaints other than the usual toilet paper everywhere in the woods. People, please take your toilet paper with you when you're camping. Um, we actually decided since we were in an area that's uh, pretty rocky and close to water to make sure to uh, use our bucket here. So we pulled out the poop bucket to be uh, mindful of the area that seems to be overrun with toilet paper already but hopefully we can do our part a little bit to make it a little better look everybody I'm making something Where's the lighter? you're gonna quickly learn why I don't ever make anything first reason is I pulled out the tea kettle when I'm trying to boil water for some shells and cheddar because I'm tired Eh? I know. Front one or back one is bigger? Front one. I feel like you really need a boat. Or and a plane. To explore. To escape. Way too much water. Oh, in here? Yeah. Yeah, you can mix it in mix there. Mix the cheese in there too? Yeah. Like a giant mess. This is why I don't make stuff, guys. I dumped it all in the sink. Good morning. We have a very rainy morning in camp. Everything is soaked because we left a few things outside. <laughs> we didn't know the weather was coming, but we're going to try to get out of this spot with minimal scraping and head to Anchorage today. Hey 
Hey guys, we had a long and productive day in Anchorage. It was a lot of chores though, right babe? Yes. Uh, what all did we get done? Not much. Yeah, we did. We went grocery shopping. Changed the oil. Greg changed the oil in the Walmart parking lot. Got some rain pants. Uh, I needed rain pants. It looks like it's going to be rainy here and we don't want that to stop us from doing stuff and I didn't have any so we went to like Cabela's, they didn't have any, then we went to REI and found some. We ran into our buddy Brad in the Walmart parking lot. Yep. He got an oil change in town today. <laughs> so we spent a couple hours talking to him, I think. Yep. Um, Brad's been up here two summers now, and we're going to hang out with him tomorrow. He's been in the Seward area quite a bit, so hopefully he'll have some cool stuff for us to do and show you guys. Oh, my pasta's boiling over. I'm currently making butternut squash ravioli and getting it all steamy in here. Yeah, it's cold here tonight. <laughs> it's like 50 out already. We found this pretty cool campsite. It's kind of crowded, but it's pretty open. There's six bald eagles right over there. So there's bald eagles hanging out on this snow field, and then there's a bunch hunting over here on shore. And they're, we're just right on this water. There's supposed to be a glacier up there. We can't see it. Um, so we'll see what happens with the weather tomorrow. It's not supposed to be super nice, but... You never know, that could change. So it is already like 8.30. So we're gonna eat some dinner and relax for the evening. Did you open the drain, babe? Mm -hmm. I said Howard and Caitlin look like they're at the same place. I wondered. I said, do they have a slide? They might be them. Uh -huh. I was like, do they got a slide on the rig? They might be right behind us. Yeah. yeah. funny. I thought it might be them when we pulled by. Alright everybody, I'm downtown Seward. I'm gonna go check out the street fair. Jess is hanging out in the van working for a bit, so I'm gonna go see if I can find me some good food. Oh, it looks like I made that one snappy, folks. Being that uh, I'm pretty cheap, the halibut that looked good was like, 18 to 23 dollars so i think i'm just gonna go back to the van and eat a snack and then see if we can find a restaurant for dinner tonight because the other hopping spots were dipping dots and shaved ice and it's like 53 degrees out and i'm not feeling that we all poop ourselves tonight yeah. right in a bucket <laughs> So as long as you can deal with it for an hour. We'll we got the good lighting going. Oh, right nice. Nice. You guys are just this dark <laughs> thing. <laughs> I figured that they would be like super battered and deprived. Yeah. We are walking on the Seward waterfront path. There's a campground here, right on the water. Generator bill. Um, but it's like a reservation only. There's a lot of RVs, a lot of generators. I'm sure it's very expensive. Uh, we walked the festival, tried some corn fritters, ate some halibut food at a really ugly 60s diner type restaurant. It was pretty good though, expensive. And now we are trying to figure out where the fireworks are going to go off for the evening. It's only like 8.30 and they're not going off till midnight so we got some time to kill. <laughs> we watched the fireworks show, it was alright. It was like yeah. 10 minutes long. It's a small town. 12 minutes, I think. <laughs> um, we're just gonna sleep here on the street in Seward. It looks like it's gonna be busy, but that's hopefully gonna die down. It's from pretty loud. Everybody going home after the fireworks. So we are going to call it a night. Street park. Right here. And, uh, it's hopefully, hum it's humid in the van Hopefully, already. get some good sleep. Don't get busted. Smoothies for breakfast on this 
Fourth of July. Fourth of July. It makes you want to say Fifth of July though, because we watched fireworks last night. It was very confusing. I don't know. If we did explain that, right? That they do fireworks at midnight. Uh, fireworks were at midnight. The evening of the third. Yeah. Which is the kickoff of the fourth. Yeah. It's really a mind mess up. Confusing. Yeah. But it was fun, and the weather is beautiful today. Yeah, I drank too much, so I'm tired. Uh, we're going to try to film a van tour with Brad today, the average Brad on Instagram. He's our friend, he's up here. And then maybe get after something fun, since the weather is beautiful and it looks like it's going to rain for the next week everywhere in Alaska. Mm -hmm. So as you guys can see, we decided to go for a hike. We're quite winded. This trail Speak for is... for yourself. Five miles total, two and a half miles straight up a mountain with over a thousand feet of elevation gain per mile. So, yeah. <laughs> I think once we get out of the trees, it's gonna get pretty hot. It might get hot, but we'll have some good views. Yeah, I just think it's gonna so, be hot for, so I don't know how far the trail is out of the trees. Yeah. But it's hot out today, so. We're not in hiking shape. Greg's knee's hurting. So we might not make it to the top. We'll see how we feel when we get a little further, but it's quite pretty. There's a beautiful rainforest, very lush, very green. Uh, no bears so far. The huckleberries <laughs> aren't ready yet. So we're just gonna keep slogging. Trail update, we're at just about a mile. Great views. You see town down there, mountains across the bay, and uh, Mount Alice is right there. That's where we're headed. We made it to the Mount Alice Overlook. That's Mount Alice. We got bald eagles flying around in the valley below. I was calling them. Big mountains over there. The uh, exit glacier where we camped is up that valley and uh, pretty good view. So we're gonna have a little snack and enjoy the view for a bit. Food, food, food. Wanna tell them what our favorite trail snacks are? Uh, tuna in a bag, <laughs> Nature Valley bars. Yep, exciting trail snacks. Snack time's over. We've enjoyed the view, we've enjoyed the sunshine. Uh, we're gonna start making our way down, slowly but surely. Slowly. It's quite steep. But we're sure. just gonna be careful of our bad knees. footing and our bad knees. Not me, I have fine knees, but both of Greg's knees are not great. And uh, enjoy the view on the way down. Alright, these are our last views. We're dropping down into the trees. We still got quite a ways to go. And this downhill is a struggle. You got big rock steps, mud slides, boggy sections. I'm literally like sitting down to get down some of these steps. 
and Greg's That's slick. sliding because there's like mud on rocks. Um, so we're looking forward to getting back into that rainforesty section because it was at least uh, a little more grippy, which we're almost there. <laughs> Greg's doing some parkour back there. And there's a big group of people behind us, so we're trying to stay ahead of them. We just got off the trail, back to the van. Uh, how your legs feel? My legs are pretty jelloey. It's a tough, tough hike, so we're gonna pack up and probably head to camp. Get ice cream. Greg wants ice cream, of course. Alright guys, we are getting back to our camp spot that we stayed at in the riverbed two nights ago. And uh, FNA Van Life is out here, New State Nomads is out here, Brad's gonna meet us out here. And last time we pulled in you couldn't see anything because it was super cloudy, but it's a beautiful day, so see everything now. Just in this big open riverbed. Alright, we are at Kenai Fjords National Park, which is just outside of Seward. After our hike yesterday, we were pretty beat, so we just made some dinner, we did our van tour with Brad, and then had a nice little sunset fire with uh, Frankie and Alex and Caitlin and Howard. And we were hoping to beat the rain today, but it is starting to mist and sprinkle a little bit, so we're just going to do this quick trail to see the exit glacier over here and see what there is to see. And then we'll probably try to hide from the rain the rest of the day. We hear there's nobody here at 9 p.m., but there's <laughs> 6,000 people here at 2.30 p.m. It's pretty busy right now. Yeah, maybe I should throw my feet on the way down. Yeah? We made it to the Glacier Overlook. You can see exit glaciers right back there. It is, looks like it's receding pretty fast. Where we're standing now is where it used to be in 2005. Um, and it's pretty far away at this point. But it's a pretty easy walk to get here. Um, like you said, we're sore from yesterday, so it's a good little walk for us. And it's kind of cool. There's like people hiking around up there. Wiping the mud off my feet because my lunas have been muddy for a while now. Uh, how cold do you think that water is? It's cold. I don't know. Probably in the 30s. Maybe 40s? It's cold. Yeah. Good morning. We have been dealing with rainy weather ever since we finished that hike yesterday to the exit glacier in Kenai Fjords National Park. Uh, we got back to camp after that and it was rainy so we ended up just watching some movies and having dinner, trying to go to bed early because I had to wake up early and do a work meeting. And now we are showering. Shower day! We don't normally pay for showers but the campground here in Seward has two dollars for a ten minute shower which is a pretty good deal. And uh, so Greg's in there showering right now. This is the campground uh, shower house there. Uh, hopefully he gets a hot shower and then I'm gonna go afterwards. Um, there was a line for the ladies shower anyway so hopefully that's worked itself out and will be clean and then I think we're gonna head out of here. It's too rainy. Instead of clothes and he would just walk back out in his towel. And he wasn't kidding. <laughs> People be looking at me weird. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> How was your shower? Good. Was it hot? Yes. Did you use both tokens? 
Yeah, it's a two token minimum. I put okay. in one and nothing happened. Alright. So. But there's a gray button, so maybe you have to put one in and then hit the button? We made it to Homer. Yay. Three hours later. It's sunny here, so we're excited about that. It's nice to see the blue sky again. And uh, we are going to go into the Homer Visitor Information Center and see what there is to do here. So you guys will have to stay tuned to the next episode to see what we get into here. Hint, there's a rock stuck in our brakes still, so I might have to figure that out. <laughs> so among the fun things we're going to do, we might have some home maintenance to deal with. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and have fun out there.